Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a quick check of your forecast into Tuesday. Not much is going to be changing, unfortunately, as we see some pretty steamy conditions across much of the Mid-South. So unfortunately, getting back in the shade and the air conditioning would be a very good bet today, especially if you're going to be working or exercising outdoors. Looking at some pretty steamy conditions as well into the course of the rest of the week and possibly some cool downs of a sort coming our way as we get into around early portions of next week. But until then, pretty typical temperatures for this time of the year, so not expecting any major concerns out there with any cooler weather. Check out the forecast available at wrhe.com slash weather, our seven-day forecast available there. And if you can't stick around for the entire weather blog this morning, check out the blue bar, the scrolling information down toward the bottom of your screen. Tons of information there and available again at wrhe.com. Questions, concerns, weather pictures, from around the Mid-South, please send them to me on social media. Again, on, available on all of these sites. And then also you can email them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Hope everybody's having a decent summer out there and trying to stay cool at least for a little bit. But we're not seeing much of any help for the forecast anytime soon as numbers continue back in the lower to mid-90s throughout the rest of the foreseeable future. Little, if anything, really cooling us off for now. Add to that, yesterday we got away with not that much in the way of showers or thunderstorms. Today we're going to be picking up that intensity at least to about a 20% coverage chance for much of the Mid-South area. Becky Wyatt Moore, welcome to the show and good morning. Uh, Kent Amos, yeah, hot is not much more than that, unfortunately, at this time, but welcome to August, unfortunately. Got weather concerns out there? Got a question about the forecast? If you got a weather report from your area, drop that into the comments section and we'll read off as many weather reports as we possibly can as we go along throughout the rest of the morning. A few of the weather cameras around the Mid-South from the quad at Ole Miss in Oxford. Sunshine making its way on through. Not too many people up and about through the sunshine in northern Mississippi for this morning, so not much happening there. Just north of Germantown High School, looking back toward the towers of Poplar and Mendenhall in Germantown, Tennessee, Poplar Pike and Germantown Road right along the railroad tracks there. Kind of hazy this morning and already topping 80 degrees with partly cloudy skies reported overhead. From former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichard in Olive Branch, Mississippi, his weather underground webcam looking back to the northwest and showing again a few clouds out there. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s and again not feeling all that cool out there for the time being. Winds turning to the southwest and that's not going to cool anybody off unfortunately as we go throughout the rest of the day. From West Memphis, Arkansas, the 4055 junction traffic on the heavy side as we approach the peak of rush hour this morning and a few more clouds drifting on through parts of the area. Some of those clouds way up there toward the horizon. Thunderstorms up around St. Louis this morning. So if you're heading north, you may run into some weather delays on I-55 the further you go into Missouri. 79 degrees at the West Memphis airport. Traffic heavy but moving at I-240 in Poplar this morning, so looking at pretty quiet conditions into and around the area. Tiffany Sheree, Sherry, hope I'm saying that right. Welcome to the show and good morning as well from Lakeland. Crystal Cackler, thanks for tuning on through. Hey, back to Carol Street, Sifkanios, hope I'm saying that correctly on there. Uh, Southwall and Sims, Timothy Mulry. Mary, Mallory, two-point typeface and bifocals don't mix. I apologize if I'm slaughtering some of those names out there. North Carolina, Catherine Lassane. Thanks a lot for joining us there. And Diane Barrett from South Haven this morning. Oh, Lexington, Tennessee, Nita Christopher. Thanks for joining us from outside the Mid-South for this morning. Looking around the country, satellite radar composite, we've got a cold front dropping through the Great Lakes and into the Midwest. So that's got just enough irritation in the atmosphere to stir up some of those thunderstorms now just south of St. Louis into southern Illinois and southwestern Indiana. Some showers over portions of northwest Texas, the desert southwest, the Gulf Coast, and the East Coast states. Not that much going on here in the Mid-South area, though, so we're just seeing precious little in the way of rainfall, at least for right now. More chances as we go into the rest of the day, but as of right now, Storm Tracker 3S radar, complete and total clean sweep out there. Mid to upper 70s at this time, warming up as we go. Some parts in the Mid-South, Bethel Springs, you made it down to the mid-60s this morning, and that was basically the Arctic chill of the Mid-South for the area. Winds, again, turning out of the south. 
Not good news for the temperatures as we see numbers a little bit warmer into the rest of the day today. So we're just not picking up too much of anything in the way of hope for cooler weather. So if you've got outdoor plans, this is about as good as it gets throughout the rest of the day for today. Rest of the morning, again, scattered light showers could be possible as we go throughout eastern Arkansas and the Mississippi Valley through about lunchtime. After lunchtime, easily back in the upper 80s to lower 90s. These are just the air temperatures on there. Combine the air temperatures with a healthy dose of humidity, and you've got a pretty good idea what the heat index is going to do. It's going to be way up there, close to the triple digits, which is going to be pretty brutal for working or exercising outdoors throughout the rest of the day for today. Jason Brady, Clarks, Clarksville, Tennessee, sunny in 77. Thank you very much for dropping on through here for today. Betty Jane Wisenhunt, Wisenhunt, hope I'm saying that right, Horn Lake, thank you very much for tuning in. And Alex Ayers, good morning to you, thank you very much for tuning in. Carolyn Hampton from Blytheville, good morning back to you as well. Pockets of showers and thunderstorms will be popping up throughout the course of the rest of the day. Again, we'll see more intense activity developing into around late this afternoon and this evening as the sun shines on the atmosphere, takes time for that lower layer of the atmosphere to heat up. Once it's absorbed its maximum amount of energy for the afternoon, that's when it'll be at its most unstable, and that's when we'll pick up the chances of showers and thunderstorms. Now, past sunset, we shouldn't see too much out there, although some lingering showers and thunderstorms may be possible in northwest Tennessee, southeast Missouri dropping away from us as we go into middle Tennessee overnight. Maybe a stray shower very early tomorrow morning, middle Tennessee into the Tennessee River Valley, northeast Mississippi, and low temperatures tomorrow morning, not all that low, only dropping into the lower to mid 70s at best. So not expecting too much of anything in the way of major amounts of concerns there. Rest of the day today, Again, numbers back into the lower 90s. We'll be seeing those isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and into this evening, and a repeat performance into tomorrow. Now, notice once again that we see the chances today increase from yesterday, but still not that much. A little bit higher on the chances of showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow. Even more chances as we go into Thursday. So from early morning through late afternoon, we will see that potential of showers and thunderstorms continuing across much of the area, getting into and around the later portion of the week. When's the best opportunity for anything in the way of thunderstorms to be at their peak? Looks like it's going to be around Friday or so. And with the extra clouds and rainfall out there, we might just see a reduction in the temperatures at least by a degree or two. So Friday might end up being the, shall we say, least hot portion of the week itself. The cooler just doesn't seem to cut it when describing this for right now. And unfortunately also, yesterday if you were watching, we said Sunday of this next weekend would be the best opportunity for a lack of showers and thunderstorms, less than 10% chance earlier. Unfortunately, we've had to bump that up to about a 20% coverage chance, which again is not much, but if you have outdoor plans, definitely want to tune in for the forecast updates as we keep you advised as to what's going on out there. Now, next week, midweek and afterwards, if everything works, a more potentially stronger push of cooler air might wrap around a storm system coming in from the Great Lakes. Now, as it does, we might, and again, these are some, again, very... Uh, probabilistic terms for right now. It's possible, conditional phrase, if you will, because as you get this far out into the forecast, things can change a lot more. So yes, it is possible. Confidence at this point in time is not that high that we will be seeing that, but right now there is at least a potential to kind of turn down the heat maybe a little bit, but that's going to be about as good news as it gets for much of the area. Mary Huggins, uh, Mer McNary County, sorry, Selmer, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one. Lee White from Chicago, the Windy City, 72 degrees. Cloudy skies up around Lake Michigan. Thanks for checking in from the Windy City. Martin Amaya, back to you. Good morning as well. Terry Ingram Weichert, Wichert, hope I'm saying that relatively closely. Uh, good morning from Como, Mississippi. Thanks for checking on through from the southern part of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Rest of the day today, again, we'll have updates on the forecast and all sorts of great weather information out there. Looking back toward Hawaii, one storm system wandering off to the west. Eric is now less than a tropical depression and just a collection of clouds and rainfall, and that was not a threat to Hawaii. Flossy, what's left of it, 
is now just a tropical depression itself and again a collection of showers and thunderstorms out there but nothing serious or severe or even organized so heading to Hawaii by the time you get out there if that's where you're going shouldn't be that much of a problem now beyond Eric and beyond Flossie we have another system out into the Atlantic well between Central America and the Hawaiian Islands we've got Gill that one is making its way to the west at about 12 miles per hour doesn't look like this is going to be doing too much of anything either. It's a tropical depression, winds of about 30 miles per hour. It does not appear to be anything in the way of a threat to Hawaii. Hopefully, it'll remain what is called a, what is nicknamed a fish storm. Only bothers the fish and nobody else out there. We'll keep our eyes on the Pacific, but decently, again, quiet and hopefully staying that way. Now, for the Atlantic, even quieter as we look out over the Gulf, the Caribbean, and back into the western Atlantic, things are very quiet right now, and there's a very good reason for that because of the fact that we've got very dry, dusty air coming in from off of the Sahara covering parts of the Atlantic. Now, the hurricanes that form at this time of the year need some conducive environments. They need a lot of warm, moist air coming in from off the surface of the ocean, and they need more <coughs> moisture-rich air upstairs to be able to draw in and feed those systems. Right now, the Sahara Desert is sending dry air overhead and not doing a good job in letting any storm systems grow. So for right now, little if anything is going to be expected to be developing into the next several days according to the National Hurricane Center. So looking pretty good all the way throughout the rest of the week. Again, things can change on this and it only takes one storm. So if you're heading to the Bahamas, Florida, the Gulf Coast, the East Coast states, Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and the National Hurricane Center for updates. It only takes one storm to be a problem, and you don't want to be heading into an area. You're just going to have to turn right back around from and evacuate. Let's make certain we pay attention to what's going on with the forecast out there. Maybe this will cool you off a little bit. Weather from the fourth rock from the sun, from the Curiosity rover, from the remote environmental monitoring station, which you can see just barely up on one of those masts there. The high temperature on Mars just about a week or so ago, minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit, a low temperature of minus 112 at Gale Crater on Mars. If you'd like to see more of the weather reports out there and see what the probes out on Mars are taking a look at, including the InSight lander, go to mars.nasa.gov for more information on that. Follow us on social media. We'll keep you updated throughout the day today. News Channel 3's Tim Simpson will have more on your forecast coming up later on this afternoon into this evening. And News Channel 3's Todd Demers will be back with your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak Wednesday. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Email, again, available questions, concerns, uh, weather pictures, if you got them, send them in. We'd love to show them around, and we'd love to be able to keep you watching. So if there's anything on here you would like to see that we did not feature, please let us know, and we'll do our best to include that in a future edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More on your forecast coming up later this morning, just about quarter after 8 o'clock in the morning right now. News Channel 3 live at 9. I'll have your forecast there and at midday on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim Simpson will be here on News Channel 3 first at 4. Thanks for joining us. Have a safe Tuesday and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day on air and online for the latest news, weather, sports, and Mid-South information.